in today's lunch break, Thai chicken salad with a spicy dressing. Patty Newsom is chef and owner of Herb in Edgewater. Patty, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. This Thanks. is fantastic. Everything I love the ingredients because everything's bright and fresh, and it just already starts to smell really good. Yeah, so I love to play with the fresh ingredient, mm -hmm. and you can enjoy it. More than 50 percent is organic ingredient here. Yeah, that's great. Okay, let's get started on the salad, and then we're going to talk a little bit about a delicious dinner crawl you guys have coming up. Oh, so, so tell me about the chicken that you're making first. Actually, I made something really light and healthy for the grilled chicken salad. I put a lot of bunch of vegetable, which is colorful vegetable. It's good for our body. And to, today, so this Thai chicken salad, I marinated it first. Okay. So first of all, I just put uh, a little bit of fish sauce, and uh, I usually get about like eight ounces. Okay. And a little bit of sugar because my food, I don't put it in messy at all. Okay. No, that's it. Fresh, whole food, clean. Clean. So Got it. I grill until I cook. You know, just um, after when I chicken grill. So what I do, I just cut slices in the small piece like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. After I done this one, so uh, I need your help. Maybe okay, you can help me out. Okay, what will take me to do? Okay, can you put all these ingredients together? Okay, yeah. Okay. So starting with this. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Does it matter the uh, order we put things in? Doesn't matter. Okay. You know what? The best way to put the chicken and the sauce first. And the sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the flavor, the sauce can go inside the chicken, and then the salad can we can add it up later. Okay. Got. What uh, was the sauce that I just put on there? This one is a Thai chili uh, salad. Basically, I have ingredients on your uh, website. Great. So I just add. I said add some of the, um, this is it. Okay. just the vegetables here. Oh, just the vegetables. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. See. So I just add uh, some of lime juice. Okay. Uh, fish sauce, which should look like this. Okay. And uh, bird eye chili pepper. And I just add some a little bit of sugar. And okay. that's it. So uh, I chop some vegetable that we have in here. Fantastic. Just what add it in. what is it. this? This is basil, sweet oh, basil. basil. You can't miss it to make a Thai chicken salad. Of course. So this one also has a lot of health benefits. So be, because of res my restaurant name Herb, so that's why I incorporate the herb in my food. Mm -hmm. And my, in my recipe, I don't have the, like a fresh lemon glass, but in here I add some herb, fresh lemon glass, you know, some different kind of micro green also. Oh, the whole thing? The whole thing. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then a whole thing of all these? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. I help you out. Yeah, you help me. Mm -hmm. As we're, we're putting this together, you guys are leading for International Women's Day a beautiful dinner crawl from your restaurant in Edgewater. Tell me a little bit about it. We, this this is a benefit for the girl forward. So what we uh, do together, we have about 13 restaurants okay. that come forward to help out for this um, uh, dinner. And also, uh, we want to get back to society and then, you know, help our community. So. Um, we going to have a lot of food. It's going to be like more international food. Yeah. And uh, women own business also that's going to come and help out. I love okay. that. And then, you know, uh, thank you for the director of the Sh uh, Chamber of Commerce, Christina. She's mm -hmm. really put this together. And so going to be very exciting. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so is this done? This I done. Okay, this is done. So basically, you know, when, when this one done already, in my restaurant, <laughs> I, I like to make it look beautiful. It does look so beautiful. So I have three philosophy when you come to my restaurant. Okay? okay. Number one, you have to look. You have to eat with your eye first. Yeah. And number that. two, you can smell it yep. to see how the smell of, of the herb. And number three, you actually taste it, enjoy it. And okay. Eat slow. Don't and eat, eat fast. Slow. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's always yep. my problem. Everyone's always in a rush. Right. Right. No fast food here. So, um, like I said, you have to make reservation to okay. come in my restaurant. Because uh, sometimes we book ahead two weeks ahead. <laughs> oh, that's good to know. Okay. All right. So the, this one, for what I do, sometimes if you eat at home, you just make something simple and easy. You just put it in the bowl, put it in a plate, and then just enjoy it. Beautiful. Okay. And next one, what I'm going to make it is um, some dessert. Ah. It's a Thai dessert. So simple. I have only have three ingredients. This one is called a banana in coconut milk. Okay. Okay. Well, you get started on that. I want to mention we've got a couple other dishes uh, out in front of us because this is a dinner crawl. So it's going to be a number of different restaurants in the Edgewater community that are involved. You're seeing some of the delicious dishes out in front of us here from some of the other restaurants that are involved in the evening as well. So if you uh, love Thai food, if you love sweets, you'll get a little bit of everything that yep. night, which is, uh, which is good news too. We're running a little bit short on time here, so we're finishing up the dessert, okay, which dessert, is three ingredients. Three ingredients, sugar, coconut milk, banana, a little, little bit of salt. Okay. So I already cut the uh, banana uh, like a uh, the quarter inches. So you when the when the coconut milk or boy, this is only cook two minutes. Very comfortable and so simple. Two minutes, mm. creamy and delicious. Yep. 
Done. That That's is it. fantastic. Pete, right. Patty, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate right. it. You're welcome. And you know, pl please, uh, I just want to... Uh, you know, invite some people who want to come to the, the our the dinner nights, yes. which is on March 8th. And uh, we have a lot of food, and please uh, come to support our community. And there's the information there on your screen, folks. International Women's Day, Wednesday, March 8th. Check-in is at 4 o'clock. 13 restaurants in Edgewater participating, as we mentioned. If you want tickets and more information, just go to intldinner.b. Me or the Edgewater Chamber of Commerce. Herb is at 5424 North Broadway. Their website is herbrestaurant.com. And of course, we're going to post the, web, the recipe on our website, wgntv.com slash midday. We'll be right back.